Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So in 2018, when I was in second year of my college, I gave this presentation to my juniors who were new to college and they were in computer science. So I tried to guide them and today I'm going to show this presentation to you. And because a lot of my viewers are again, like new to computer science and first year, second year. So I just want to uh, guide them with my experience, which uh, like, since I'm a mostly self-taught so there are a lot of things i figured out and i just want uh, you to just take it instead of figuring out yourself because there are a lot of mistakes i did and i learned from them so this slide is like full of uh, i i found this slide and i'm so happy like this is actually uh, full of a lot of uh, cool and informative stuff but uh, at the same time i will say it is uh, like in 2018 so at that time i was not so good so uh, and even still, maybe I'll learn something in future. I'll try to update you. So there are some things which I might, I say it wrong. All right. So what programming language they should learn when they get started? Okay. We are obviously not going to discuss what is programming. They, that's that part we can skip. So I suggested them and I suggest everybody to first learn C programming and then move to C++ quickly. And some people don't agree with this. Even in my country, the education system, literally they changed C++ with Python and um, in class 10th or I guess 11th. So first of all, uh, the argument which comes is that um, Python is much simpler and C++ C scares, you know, students. I don't get it. I, I, I literally don't get it. If you want to learn C, C, gcc manual okay you just see this all right <coughs> this is just one page okay one page and you will learn everything in c like all the basics you can learn there is nothing which will be uh you know which is beyond this and if you go to python docs there is no limit all right and tell me how how python is much simpler just tell me one thing if i just create a list okay and it, suppose if i'm teaching to some kid and i i created a list how will i explain what is list the, he don't know what is what class is so all i'm trying to say is that uh, uh, this mindset that uh, python is much simpler i find it wrong because c slavers is actually a lot less and uh, you might say okay you don't have to teach like everything but again like how i'm going to explain what is list also the thing is you teach c to someone so he get into computer science and c is much nearer to computer science like if you if a student learns c as a first language he will understand like uh, what memory is and a lot of you know stuff which is pretty critical and if you start teaching students like python they will just you know it's just a black box okay it's just like you're making some crud apps creators i mean i'm not saying like python is a bad language obviously like python is a great language but all i'm saying as a first language for a computer science student it have to be c or me or assembly like there is no nothing like python as a first language okay it doesn't make sense also c might be syntactically a little bit hard but it really makes more sense like when you write a for loop by writing i is equal to zero and then i plus plus and i is smaller or greater whatever so it is really better than teaching python for loop range which which is just you know something uh, which students won't understand this so that's the first thing i suggest them to learn c and then quickly move to c plus plus why uh, i will discuss so okay this is why okay so computer programming most people just ignore this thing most people don't do this and i mean these days there is a trend to get job everybody know like computer programming is important because all these corporate giants you know when they take interview they mostly ask like uh, CP questions and and this is why you know there are so there is so much cringe going on in in the CP world okay previously when I was um, in my college the CP was not that popular nobody really know uh, the secret like students and uh, have no idea like what kind of uh, interview questions people ask but then the secret got revealed people realized okay this is just from computer programming so everybody just jumped and youtube is filled with a lot of cringe 
cringe content program content but all i'm saying don't get lost in all that content go to the cult make an account in code forces uh, i'll discuss the platform later but all i'm saying is like uh, the reason why cp is important because it gives you a sense of how to uh, basically programming mindset which is very important i mean just think it uh, like this if you are a developer and you're working in some really great company and you spend a lot of time in it and you still cannot solve a really basic cp problem or medium level problem and you cannot if you don't do cp i mean you might can if you have a really genius brain but uh, you know all i'm saying is like a real world development don't teach you um don't make you a lot good with uh, programming it it might make you in some terms it can make you better like you will learn how to write clean code you will learn all that part but uh, you won't get the logic okay and in as a computer science student doing cp is very important because this is what cs is like solving problems so i teach you about memory and a lot of stuff so you can go to code chef this is my recommendation at that time it was my recommendation right now i will say code forces but if you want something easy code chef is easy to get start so it's your choice you can choose between code chef or code forces let me pause for a second uh, sorry for water break if somebody wants to you know edit my videos be my guest i i'm done with editing like i find it uh, time wasting so this is why i was um, i'm okay that's another topic so all i was saying like um, code forces is really uh, easy so what i used to do is i used to at the time go to practice and then beginner and i used to um, sort like sort um, by submissions or by difficulty and try with simpler problems and if you remember i used to do some streams too in my old channel and in this channel where i literally did a lot of cp at some time but i'm still you know not, not that good and i always felt frustrated because of cp so don't do it for you know getting into corporate or something that would be really stupid do it as a fun it's a really fun thing and try not to ruin it by watching all those cringe videos which are on youtube go to uh, code forces forum that's why code forces is good like there are really great forum discussions and everything so best os obviously even at that time i was into linux and i promoted linux and i explained them that if you don't if you don't use linux as a developer then you should just you know jump out of building so uh, here's some unix one which i try okay i just tried to uh, make them pump uh, made them, okay i i just wanted a, a attractive okay this is not so good but it's simpler so i just wanted to show them like uh, uh, linux is very simple to use look at this it is just like your windows shit so terminal all right so i tried to scare them with terminal i don't know okay i accidentally click next okay so if you are a computer science student you have to learn how to use computers with terminal you have to know how to read man pages because terminal use command line uh, you know interface so cli programs and this is how you learn how to use cli program by reading man pages or looking at help so that is something which is really important and uh, i i discuss these kind of thing always on my channel useful websites okay this is this is where you know i think i went wrong like i okay at the time i took some help from these website but right now i won't say it's fair. okay I think in 2018 geeks for geeks was not that shit but all right so don't go to tutorials point even going to stack overflow uh, nowadays like i believe if you're going to stack overflow a lot then you're not a good programmer like you, you are really not a good programmer so uh, google oh I, uh, I wrote google because uh, it as a search engine okay i was not trying to say like go to google okay all of this is shit like w3 schools might i think it's still decent but code academy google quora geeks it's just all corporate websites so don't go to these websites just go to the documentations and just read it youtube channel now this is interesting okay i wrote a lot of youtube channel but i think the uh, good one are like three blue one wrong obviously hands down amazing uh live overflow all right so there's one playlist by live overflow which really helped me in college in my coa class so coa is like a computer organization and architecture so live overflow 
minor exploitation playlist okay now these days like he makes some uh, junk videos but you can just read stuff but this minor exploitation playlist uh, was really amazing and it really helped me you know understanding a lot of how cpu works okay so i'll recommend this channel like uh the thing about ctfs and all this you know hacking related stuff is that uh it really forces you to learn and understand how computers work and this playlist really helps like how cp works so amazing playlist uh, like you should watch it so the new boston also have a really good playlist i mean he got a lot of good stuff but uh, one playlist is uh, c++ i mean he don't really go in depth but um, he kind of make videos for um, you know easy to understand like just just work with it okay just go and love, work with it so this if you know c if you learn c nicely then you can just, i always suggest this playlist like c++ programming by the new boston to those people who just want to learn uh, for their jobs okay like um, not for jobs actually so what the idea which i promote is first learn c then uh, all the concepts you know and then move to c++ and uh, just watch this playlist and uh, don't even watch the classes and objects just watch no object or oriented concepts all right so just watch the basic c++ playlist like all these videos and after that uh you can do cp and code shift all right so just solve like around 80 problems and you are good to go to any interview and just fuck them over so i mean not fuck them over it's just oh, why i use these kind of words i don't even know how to use it. okay patrick jmt is a really nice channel you guys might know don't know but in my college uh when i was in first year they used to teach maths and i think patrick jmt is an amazing math channel uh so okay why i missed my tab so so there are a lot of other channels too but i will say now i usually say you should not learn from videos uh there is one channel okay if you do computer programming which i'm you know i'm saying like do computer programming it's really important uh there is this okay always do computer programming with c++ never use any other language okay uh this is my just just follow this advice because c++ have a uh uh stl library standard template library and uh, also learn what templates is you can watch boken video or maybe the uh, the new boston playlist also teach and watch this uh, this guy's channel like boken he is a, he's a, he's an ex apple uh, developer and he's really good and uh, he he made some videos about c++ which you can watch but uh, his best is this uh, stl playlist so this playlist really helps to understand what um, standard template library is and it is one of the most important library if you do computer pro programming with c++ i remember i once uh, took an interview of uh, one intern or i think some developer in my company and uh, yeah it was an intern so at the time of interview so he i saw his resume and he was like very he was being very pro in C, um, computer programming in c++ so what i did is i asked him like uh, why it's standard template library can you explain the concept like why it's template and he, his entire life flashes in front of him because he was like okay he's about to ask a question related to computer programming his whole life he was preparing for it but just because you know he was a brain light like uh, this is the thing like he all all the computer programming he did is from those you know cringe videos which you find in youtube which just uh, which just doesn't make you smart they just teach you some tricks like okay this is how you solve dp problems this is how you solve greedy problems and you don't understand even understand the tools which you are using so he had no idea about templates and why it's called like standard template library so even though he can solve problems but he had no idea about c++ uh, in depth so don't be like that okay always learn the thing understand it everything uh, whatever the tools you are using just understand don't just try to solve problems uh, by learning some tricks or method try to solve it without even learning what is dp you know i have friend okay remember the pi star he saw a lot of dp problem without even uh, realizing what dp is so this is what actually uh, makes you smart okay if you watch videos and like how 
how to just solve any db problem then this is this is not you are not smart okay that's what i'm trying to say uh so don't just go for the result just enjoy the process i mean it doesn't make sense okay so uh, this channel also is very good i watched some of his uh, playlist on neural network uh, this is coding the coding train okay the coding train all right so i think yeah he he made some, some really fun videos and he really loved computer science as you can see from his video nowadays like his channel is uh, too far obviously like he got million views uh, his videos quality is now not that good but yeah yeah this playlist was really good like neural network so he helped me a lot with uh, some machine learning related knowledge and there is also one three blue one brown neural network playlist i mean don't don't just get into neural network there are a lot but he made some really good computer science related videos so uh, i will suggest you so web programming if you want to get into development the best way to get in uh, get in development is through web programming also web programming is very important because uh, it helps you understand how internet works a little bit but try to get uh, into the raw web programming okay where you literally do post request and handle post requests uh, and get requests you know like with flask no, not django never go for django i never went for django just use flask and learn like really raw stuff all uh, right the minimal uh, minimalism concept because if you go i see like people don't even do pure javascript and they go for react so don't do that mistake don't do that kind of web programming just do web programming to understand like all this concept of calls and uh these uh, how http works like these protocols you should learn all this kind of stuff that's why you should do web programming because this is pretty important one of the most important for me because i'm a backend right now so tools and software okay this is this is humiliating like telegram uh, at the time telegram was not that bad uh, there were a lot of developers and groups so i used to take a lot of help <laughs> keep calm and use open source okay i was not force support at the time i was like open source supporter so <laughs> sublime i don't know why i'm mentioning but i'm glad like even at that time i had a little bit sense of vim and emacs and i mentioned it so gcc g++ is um, is because you know i suggest i promote like learn c++ and do computer program like do it all day and do it with your friends because it is really important you if you ignore it like this is not good okay as a cs student you should do it so if you get into uh, if you want to get into hacking then there is also one thing like ctfs and i think like uh, it's a uh, really good not because you become any hacker or something it's a game actually it's uh, you will find flags in some system and if you want to learn about it live overflow channel is like one of the best source but the thing is like you learn you understand computers a lot by doing ctfs but it's pretty hard to do and it gets repetitive but you should you know as a computer science student you should also always keep exploring different different kind of technologies and you should always get into stuff which helps you to understand uh, computers much better so ctfs is a great way so try doing it i i failed always like i i always wanted to do it but since i never did it uh i believe like i question myself do, do i really am i really into it or just you know it's just something i find fancy so don't be a script key okay it's it's a channel which i recommend like live overflow for ctfs so there is no straight path most people want a straight path i try to give straight path like learn c okay go watch cs50 videos to learn c then go get into c++ then you know uh computer programming and then development parallelly okay so cp and dev should be parallel as a cs student if you want a career or something in modern world so what to learn first there is no straight path obviously whatever you find fancy i i see so many people who started from zero and now they are uh, you know way ahead and they know a lot of stuff and there is no rule like they just whatever they find fun they just get into it and learn try to explore the entire thing you know read the docs docs are like okay if you know nothing about something and if you start reading docs you are always going to learn okay more so whatever you learn just it's worth it 
so there is no straight path explore everything like whatever you find fun just get into it and so this is the life overflow guys journey but my journey went something like this i started with html then css and then this uh, php and c and i worked on this lamp stick like linux apache mysql uh, php and at that time you know i had literally no resource and i'm not trying to be like oh i had no money but literally like i i even had no internet at the time and i still remember those days it was so fun i mean the first time when i uh, you know put some uh, took data from form and you know uh, f- uh, put it in mysql's uh, database it was so fun like even the connectivity gave me orgasm so cs50 is in okay i already talked about cs50 on this channel it's a really amazing it, even if you are good with computers and you know all of the these stuff you know you should watch cs50 because it's the most wholesome wholesome course of computer science like so you cannot attend world's best university but you can always go online and watch his, their lectures and cs50 really uh i think they touch every important topic they teach you flask which i am recommending they teach you web programming they they are really good with explaining concept the guy who teach like david j miller he is one of the best teacher i believe so uh, it's something for every computer science student so open source okay uh okay you know what open source is and then i you know just some thing related to open source like some quotes by stallman extract time all right so it was for students now but you can also use it like boycott social media i think you already do uh at the time i think in 2016 i deleted my facebook and i i never used instagram now i'm using it by the way uh not really i mean i just have i don't have an app i sometimes log in from computer so uh, i never use like uh, i i don't even know like how snapchat looks like or or any app looks like so this is something very important like you cannot be distracted distracted by anything uh try to be unsocial to be honest yeah friends cost time a lot of time and uh, lo- most of the people around you in college days or school days are just companions even after that like people uh, and the best proof of this is uh, even after college or schools you know even not even after after college or schools uh they they just get lost okay so this is the proof like the only reason you and your friend are together is because uh this is the situation like you see each other every day and you cannot get bored okay you need someone to talk i mean i'm not saying like all of this is negative but you have to make a trade off if you want to be the best then you have to be a little bit unsocial because friends cost time and you don't have it or if you make some friends i mean i'm not saying don't make relationships relationships are great like with people but you know uh you you understand what i'm trying to say like the kind of friends like they they are going to invite you or you know do calls every day but this is not something you can do if you want to get good you sunday okay if my college was like um monday to sat so that's just why it is just some tips like use holidays wisely because free time shouldn't get wasted um utilize free time in college by comp- okay okay so movie recommendation now movie actually make impact i started learning computers and web programming just because of the social network so i believe like it uh, always you know watch these kind of stuff because it uh, psychologically it um it really make impact and i i can say this believe me this okay so if you watch like uh, the social network mr vote you you really feel uh, like oh i want to learn these things i want to do these kind of things okay so i mean this is not a good thing you should be sure about your motives but still you know so yeah that's it thanks for this entire i don't know all right so yeah that's it okay